Hi guys, I'm Dimension Jumbo. Today I'll be doing my top 5 Mario Kart Deluxe tracks. Now, for this list, I'm be doing uh, the tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that I find interesting. Uh, not only in the way that the, that the tracks are designed, but also how unique they are to me. So, number 5 is the Excite e Bike Arena, I think. Uh, and what I like about this one is is because of the way it's kind of like formed in the way of uh, like a uh, like a, uh, a race bike uh, arena, like track. And also it came from like an original NES game that probably not that many people have played or remember. Uh, but the reason why it's quite low on this list is because of its... Uh, simplicity and it's quite basic uh, so yeah for number four is Yoshi's Valley now what I like about uh, this uh, track is that it's probably the most confusing type track in the entire game and what I mean by that is that this is the only track that has some multiple paths that you can take so you might take a path that, that might, you, might make you uh, jump out of a cannon, a path that might take you through a cave, but there is always a way that you can try and get to first place by taking these many different routes. But there is, is a shortcut that will make you go into first place quite often, well not often but all the time, because there's the shortest track, well shortest route and it's quite fast to uh, go through, but only if you like. If you're quite good at the game, you're you're able to uh, do manoeuvre through the route and stuff. For number three is Animal Crossing. The Animal Crossing track. Now, what I like about this track is not only is the track quite. What a, quite a wonderful track to pl uh, play around because not only do you see the various characters from uh, from the games, but also the track itself changes seasons. So you've got spring, summer, autumn, and winter, but you don't know which one you're gonna get. And I like it how with each season, not only does the track kind of like change a bit, but also uh, you get to see like little bits of the track changes of of the outside of the track bits change as well. So, for example, the trees mainly change, uh, the sign changes itself, and also you get to see little bits of the scenery that adds to the, add, that had been added to the track. So, for example, in when it's like the Christmas wintry track, you get to see uh, snowmen dotted about the place. If it's autumn, you get to see patches of uh, dead leaves on various parts of the tracks, and that, I think that's really, really cool. For number two is the game's own Rainbow Road, not the other Rainbow Roads that are from my older games. Now, what I like about this particular Rainbow Road is that it, uh, half of it isn't actually a part of, a, of the Rainbow Road. It's actually this uh, space station thing. And you can either and you can go two ways once you get off the station. You can either go on the high high road or the low road and that's kind of cool. And I like it how in the space station section there are two tracks that can go opposite ways. So you and you will have to try and go on the green arrow track to go faster. So yeah. And I like it and I like, and I especially like Rainbow Road because of how it makes people get angry, not angry, but really annoyed and mad because of how the sharp corners are just too sharp to try and corner, but I personally uh, sometimes get around the corners and I just like how chaotic Rainbow Road can get. And for number one is Hyrule Circuit. Now what I like about this is that not only that is, is, it is from my, one of my favourite video game series, The Legend of Zelda, but I like it how it takes some full inspiration from 
the engine sailed it. Even though the, there's not there's not a lot of things to go with, but I do like it how in part of the track you can go off this ramp uh, and pass the Mars, pass the Martis, Master Sword, but you can only do that if you have hit, if you hit three these three crystals. But uh, I I couldn't be able to get the footage because it's a bit tricky to pull off. Really, uh, you can you can do it rarely sometimes, but it is quite hard to pull off to try and get off trying to get the ramp. Yeah, and I like it how in with the with the coins the coins are replaced with rupees, and I th I think that's really cool. And I like it how they also replaced the uh, item select music with the chest uh, music, and I think that's really a really cool uh, note there by Nintendo. So yeah, that's been my top 5 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and hit the notification bell uh, for more future updates. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.